Oh, there you are, YouTube. My wife is out on a walk with one of our friends, and the kids are napping right now, but I think I want to get some macaroni and cheese ready for them, so right when they wake up, they can start eating. So I think I'm going to do that, maybe show you some of the process. It's nothing special. It's literally going to be what's on the box. This is not Kraft macaroni and cheese, which I do adore. It's some company called Annie's or something. Let me look for it. Uh, I got it in here. I'm in the pantry. And pantry. It's just a standard, standard, uh, what do you call it? Cabinet. Right here. White shells. Let me give you a better view. See that? So we'll be making this for them. And hopefully it's something they enjoy. They usually like it, so I'm not too worried on that front. But they're toddlers, so you never know what to expect. Just gotta wait for this water to boil. It's starting to warm up. Do you see that steam heat? Not a full boil, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in just to speed up the process a little bit. Oop, killed the boil. Now I'm gonna stir. This is nice and warm on a cold January day. Pardon the dirty sink, but it's time to strain. Probably not getting a good view of this because the pot is, whoa, blocking. I'm glad I caught that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That was a close one. There it is. Okay, got, already put it in there, but like two tablespoons of butter, about two tablespoons of milk. One, whoa, that's hot in there. Two-ish. I think we'll be good. I don't know, maybe a little bit more. Ooh. Next we have the powder cheese. In goes the cheese dust. Now this is a white cheddar, that's why you're not seeing any orange. Come on, cheese dust. Ooh, it seems like there's a lot in there. Is that normal? Stir. Stirring to make a creamy sauce. Then we put the noodles back in. The noodles are still in the sink. Noodle time. Perfect timing too, I can hear the kids, they just woke up. So this will be ready for them when I pull them out of their cribs. Look at that. It's a little wet. Hopefully, after it sits for a little bit, cools off, it will, uh, you know, solidify. Is that the word I'm looking for? Thicken? That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, I think this will be perfect. Got a good view there? This will be good. Some beautiful Annie's mac and cheese. Yeah, I overdid it with the milk, didn't I? Blast. I don't know. I think... I think once it cools down, we'll be okay. Maybe it's reducing a little bit too because I have the heat on, uh, sort of like a simmer. So I think, I think everything will be okay. There it is in the bowl along with my tripod. And this is what the kids will be eating. Gonna pull them out of the crib, let them develop some hunger. By then, I'm thinking this will be cool enough for them to eat. Obviously, it's piping hot right now. Not available for their delicate taste buds. Take a break. Yeah, good dancing, guys. All right, ex machina, right? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, good job. Wow! In the living room, eating some mac and cheese here while we dance to this ex machina dance on loop. What's it gonna be? Another birthday from Tracy oh, to the girls. Oh. Oh. Got a little, look, there's a froggy. Froggy. Some cool <laughs> books. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is it cute? I love a little owl and there's so many little animals in there. Oh my goodness, look at the pretty flowers and the birdies and the bees. Oh, awesome. <laughs> What's in that one? What's that? Do you need help getting started? Here you go. Oh, Here's I think you. you're getting it. No, no. Take a bit. You guys can share those books. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I think I saw a cardinal on that one. That one's about snow. Oh, I saw an owl. There's a cardinal. Look at this. Look at this little cool. raccoon. Oh my goodness, look at snow. Oh, I see a skunk in that one and a hedgehog. A oh, wow, you got new blocks. <laughs> 
Tracy. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wow. Oh, oh my, my. this is so great. Awesome. And some of them are. Well, yeah, some of them have colors. Color. Wow. I, that's what I was working on the past few nights. I was like, what colors do I do? Oh my Those gosh, are great. So good. <laughs> yeah. Hi. These are yeah. just like the blocks that Tracy bought over, but you get to keep these. Yeah, these stay here. Isn't that great? Look at this big one now. Big one. Big one. <laughs> <laughs> Nona got a big so one cool. right now. Look at you, you're already big. Out to the river, and then we like wrote down all the little, like, here's how many of this piece, here's how many of this piece, and then we cut them all. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Here, maybe if we go like this and that, and then we can put something else on top. Like the green one. Whoopsies. Can you tell Tracy? Look at that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Can you can you tell Tracy thank you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Ooh, good job. Wow, that one's so tall. You put it on top. That is so tiny. Tiny piece. You think the tiny one can go on top? Whoa. Wow. Wow. Big balancing act. Oh my goodness, this is so It's special. getting so tall. Tracy and Luke made these for you. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Much, much, much later. And we are continuing our viewing of the Queen's Gambit. We watched episodes three and four today. The first one called, what is it, Double Game or something? You know what, just let me look it up really quick. Doubled Pawns is what it's called. The next episode, four, was called Middle Game. I think I was mixing the two up. Um, the first one of those two, what, you know, I was kind of hoping, and I know you can't, make a show like this. Maybe you could. Someone needs to do it because that's basically what I wanted to see. Was this character, I wanted them to never lose a chess match this entire show. Just constantly dominating, winning, and we hadn't seen them win other than, or sorry, we hadn't seen them lose other than when they were first learning playing the janitor that taught them, right? And when entering these tournaments, she never lost. And it was great to see, it was fun to see. I just loved seeing no worry in her. And I, I was thinking, you know, it'd be interesting if this continued, if we never found worry in this character. But, <sighs> worry finally entered the show she lost a little bit of confidence, and she lost a match. She resigned a match, and that was kind of sad to see, but I know you can't, you know, make a show. You could, but you can't make a show where somebody's just winning constantly, and that's how it ends also. So, yeah, that was sad to see, and that's what happened in um, that third episode that we watched. Sorry, spoilers, I should probably said that earlier. I apologize, but, um, yeah, so that was kind of sad to see. Uh, I'm sure it will all work out in the end and things will circle back around with that character that beat her and we will see her beat them is probably what's going to happen because TV is predictable if you've watched enough of it. Um, and then the fourth, and that was in Las Vegas. It was like a tournament in Las Vegas she was in. Uh, then Harmon entered a uh, Mexico City tournament and does so well in that. And then at the end, we see her lose a match again. So now she's, you know, taking it to the very end and losing these matches. Actually, let's go back to the third episode where I said she lost the match. While she did lose that match... Her losing created a tie with the person that beat her. So she was actually co-champion. So that wasn't too hard. It was like, okay, that's really sad for me personally that she lost the match because I wanted to see her win everything till the show ended, till, you know, the series ended. But 
even though she lost that match, she still won the tournament as a co-champion. So I wanted to put that in there. While it was hard to see, I sort of reconciled it. I felt good about it because she was still co-champion. But at the end of episode four, that did not happen. It was just like she just lost that that tournament. I think I think it's over. I'm pretty sure it's over. Yeah, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that tournament is over. I don't think it continues anywhere else. I do know she plans on traveling more, but I don't think it's for like the same tournament. I think that was the end of that tournament in Mexico City. Um, uh, also, spo more spoilers, like her, her adopted mother, adoptive mother passed away, died in this episode. So, I don't know. I just, their relationship was kind of nice. It was awkward and a little weird, but it was also pretty great. She gave her mother so much life and yeah, that was kind of, that was kind of sad. But anyway, a um, little bit of a downer because of that, but also the two losses. I, I wanted a, a character that never lost, but I don't know. I guess I have to write that show. But I don't know anything about chess. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that'll probably do it for this vlog, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Peer Hangout.